Hello, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a new, the, the new Internet Explorer version in Windows 7. Now, um, let me first point out that this could be incredibly slow, as I've said in my other videos on Windows 7. And they've turned out alright, but just as a warning. So, let's get started. There's a few exciting new features that I wanted to share with you in um, Internet Explorer 8. In layout, it's basically the same as IE7, but you, you'll know that if you're an um, <coughs> Firefox user or a Safari user, you can inspect different elements and split them up so that's really useful for developers well now if you hit f12 they have this thing called the developer tools um so if i hit f12 it brings me up a window just like in any other browser where i can see the css the scripts and the profiler of emma msn.com so if I expand the body here I can see all that code and I can see the, the, the CSS and there's a bunch of options up here where I can disable certain things and I can even validate the web page um, from within that and I can change the uh, coding s standard uh, to what Internet Explorer 8 refers to as quirks but there's actually standards compliant HTML I can disable things I can disable the CSS all the scripts of the page and um, so some really handy developer tools in there we can also have compatibility mode so if you're a um, web person like me and you're fed up of doing conditional store sheets for IE in version 8 there's a compatibility mode um, that you can turn on so if you go to page page and then compatibility view page and then we go down to compatibility view we can uh, change certain things about the page so we can make it act more like other browsers this is useful if things don't display quite correctly there's also safety things in here and so aesthetically not much has changed but there's in terms of web developers there's quite a lot of um views and you can it in private browsing mode you can delete the browser history with one click some people used to have to have an external app to do that and in tools there's several things you can do there so that was an overview of just some of the new features 
of Internet Explorer 8. There's one more thing I, I wanted to show you, but I forget what it is. Um, you can ask it to, um, for example, allow you to blog with a Windows Live Writer. So when it comes up with service compatible with those services, it'll flag it for you. So that's really nice. And obviously you can change the SERP provider, which are classed as add-ons, just like in Firefox. So that's the end of this really quick overview of Internet Explorer 8, the version of Internet Explorer in Windows 7. I must highlight that you can also get this as a beta on the current Windows Vista or Windows XP. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's uh, I hope it's been helpful, and keep your eye out for more Windows 7 videos.